Hi Sagittarius and a very warm welcome to your August 2019 horoscope. Goodness, this month is so much more peaceful astrologically than last month, what with the eclipses and Mercury retrograde that we had then. This month should be much smoother to navigate, especially as I'm going to give you a heads up as to what are some of the things you might expect. On the first of the month, Mercury goes direct, making this a good time now to get into contracts, agreements, anything legal. You can sign things now and it should go through more easily. Communications generally should be easier. Anything to do with travel plans and transportation should also be smoother and anything technological should also be easier to get round. Now don't take me literally because of course in this 3D world there are always blips and ups and downs but generally when Mercury is, is direct these areas tend to be smoother running. The focus this month for you is going to be largely on the ninth house having everything to do with your higher learning, your spiritual path, travel, anything international, and your 10th house, your career, your work, your destiny, your life purpose, and how you interact with the world at large. So let me break it down for you. On the 12th of the month, we have got Mercury joining this party of planets in your ninth house. Now the ninth house is it's a wonderful time for you for studying, for learning, for training, for teaching, for coaching others. You might go on a spiritual retreat, a spiritual journey. It's fabulous for travel, for going on a trip this month or planning a trip. It's really good for developing something that you already know a little about, but taking it to a higher level. It's a wonderful time for putting some focus onto your spiritual path and fabulous for publishing a blog, an article, a book, getting information out there. You may meet somebody special when you travel or you may meet somebody from a very different culture to yours and fall in love with them. Could be a love relationship or it could be a deep friendship that ensues. But these are great aspects in the ninth because it resonates with you that ninth house is your house. So this has everything to do with exploring new horizons. Jupiter's still in your sign. So creep, keep expanding, keep growing lovely Sages developing your wisdom and of course with your inimitable enthusiasm sharing it with others and on the 15th of the month we have got a full moon happening here in your third house uh, shining a light balancing the ninth house activity shining a light and showing you uh, maybe you need to be networking a little more connecting with some new people shining a light on uh, maybe where you are not using your mind as well as you could be. Maybe your mind's just driving you crazy. This would be a good time to get into mindfulness and meditation and really learning how to manage your thoughts and emotions and feelings. And also shining a light here on maybe some skills that you maybe need to develop that would be beneficial for you or that you'd enjoy. Um, to really take to a new level. On the 19th of the month, we've got Mercury, uh, Mars coming into your 10th, the 22nd Venus, the 24th the Sun, and for good measure, on the 30th, a new moon. So a huge focus on the top part of the chart. You really coming out, being seen. Yes, Sagis, time to speak out. Very often that's not a problem for you, but with Mercury, uh, sorry, at the top of the chart, and with all these planets at the top, time to say what's important to you, 
It could be a new job opportunity, a new career direction, finding um, a new place that you really feel connected with, where you want to contribute. You can meet somebody very special through work, a work situation or a conference, or somewhere where a workshop or a seminar. It's also a really good time for getting a lot done. Mars in the 10th is often very busy, juggles a lot of balls in the air, but really accomplishes a lot. You might find you want to work on your own a little, or at least be autonomous, so you can get on with things and not have to somehow listen too much to what other people are telling you. It's also, if you're not in a career, it's an opportunity really for some new beginnings with the way that you interact with people, yes? Maybe you want to be different, maybe you want to make more of a heart connection. Maybe you'd like to set a new intention as to the kinds of connections you want to make with people in your everyday life. Our world is getting smaller and it's time to connect with one, one another more deeply. So see the points of connection in your everyday life and this will really be a big upliftment to you because such is you need inspiration, you need upliftment. And this energy up here can really bring that to you. So really keep stretching beyond that comfort zone. Everybody says Jupiter and Sag is marvelous, which it is, but just make sure you're just, what are the things you feel you can't tolerate? And then look at those maybe a little more in detail and see if you can develop some uh, ability to tolerate some of the things you thought you couldn't tolerate before. Just a little seed planted into your psyche there. So I wish you a wonderful month. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing and sewing. Bye for now.